Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. Today's devotion, Trust in Fearful Times. Isaiah 12, 2. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Can you remember the last time you felt absolutely consumed with fear? How about a time when you were so stressed that you couldn't eat, sleep, or even think clearly? Life has a way of putting us through fearful times. Problems in our marriage, conflicts with our kids, issues at work, and health difficulties can all can, all can put any man in a place where he feels afraid, anxious, and stressed out. In today's verse, the prophet Isaiah writes words telling us not to fear, but to trust in God. Centuries later, the Apostle Paul gave New Testament voice to this attitude when he wrote, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And that's Philippians 4, 6, and 7. When life gives you reasons to feel afraid, it can be a huge help to remember two things. God is in control, and he promises to give you peace when you take your fears to him. All-powerful God, life gives me many opportunities to feel afraid. Remind me often to trust you and you alone as I live, as you have called me to live. No matter what we are facing in this life, whether it could be a health issue, a marriage falling apart, whether it be facing troubles at work or the lack thereof, the lack of work. God is always with us. He is in control. And on top of being our comforter, on top of being there to lead us through, and to guide us. He's also our provider. He will provide us with what we need. And if it's a health issue, he is also the great physician who will heal us through whatever is going on with us. Now, it does say that We will have trials and tribulations in this life, but it also tells us to be of good cheer because God has overcome the world through Christ Jesus. And he tells us not to be afraid 365 times in the Bible. That's one for every day of the year. So he must be real serious on that one. Don't be afraid. Trust in him. Because he will lead us through. So the question you've got to ask yourself today is this. Are you trusting God? Or are you trusting any part of this world? Is your faith in him? Or is there a lack of faith? Only you can answer that one. But know this. Jesus loves you. 
and he is with you with whatever you may be going through. All we have to do is trust in him and through prayer he will guide us through. Let your faith grow. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And trust in Him with all things. Much love.